Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with Far Cry 5 on the PlayStation 4 Pro Hard Mode. And right now I'm standing inside Nick's house because an aeroplane spotted me and it's trying to kill me. So I'm actually quite scared at the moment. So I'm going to hide in Nick's house for a minute. <laughs> okay, so I think we are pretty close to being able to confront John and maybe taking him down. For some reason, Boomer decided it was a good idea to go outside and possibly get shot by a plane. <laughs> oh, you're coming back in now? You had second thoughts, did ya, you stupid dog? But yeah, I think we are pretty close to being able to fight John. So, I think what we're going to do today is we are going to do another one of Nick's, uh, Nick's story missions. Then once we finish that, I think Nick gives us a side mission that we can do. So we're going to do both of those today, and then hopefully that gives me enough points to confront John. Now, if they don't give me enough points, then what we will do, maybe in this video or the next video, we will go over to the church and we will speak to Grace, who is another companion that you can unlock. She's actually my favourite companion, next to Jess, who we will see quite a long way away down the playthrough. But yeah, so um, that's what we're going to do today. Oh my god, where did all these... What did you do, Boomer? <laughs> what did you do, Boomer? You went outside and now everybody's out there trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah, you, you look a little bit sheepish. It was your fault, wasn't it? You're a bad dog. You're a bad dog. No, don't don't lick me. No, you're a bad dog. You are a bad dog. You are not having no treats today. No treats for a year, actually. Right, so... I've got to get used to using these guns because I've actually finished the game on my own, you know. On my own playthrough, I'm done with the game, you know. So, I've actually got quite a lot of different weapons now, so... <laughs> Yeah, I've got to get used to using these again. Okay, that should be alright for now. Oh, I got—I actually uh, got some perk points. Another thing I've discovered is when you're playing this, um, if you go to some of the, um, the treasure chest locations, well, they're not really treasure chests, they're like stashes, you know, and you go there and you find some, like, loot and stuff, you can actually find some magazines inside these, like, stash places that are called perk magazines or something and if you pick them up it gives you um it gives you a few perk points so if you're running low on perk points which you shouldn't be because you can get plenty just from doing the challenges then uh, go check the stash places because you do find quite a few perks in there and it's pretty good right i think this is pretty much just a mission where uh, i have to fly around taking down like helicopters and planes and stuff but we're going to do this first just to get a few extra uh, reputation points I'm not sure if there's going to be a cutscene or anything, though. Air Raid. I think I got in the wrong... Hey-ho! Hey-ho! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I always sneeze at the worst time. I think I got in the wrong seat. Okay, so we have to fly around and we have to destroy several different, like, cult things, you know. We have to take down, like, their fuel pumps. We need to take down maybe an armoured convoy, if I remember correctly. We also need to take down maybe some of those silos. I'm not sure, but this is just like a miscellaneous mission, really, where you just fly around dealing damage to the cult, you know. Shouldn't take very long, providing I don't end up dead. What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> I've not really had to use the... Uh, the uh, bombs lately. Ah, so now we have to take down some of those tankers. The tankers are actually the thing that I need to get at the moment because we still have that mission where we need to find two tankers and take them back to Mary. So it would be good if we could land the plane and just nick them. I'm going to assume it's the same thing, but obviously we can't, so we're going to have to blow them up. I hope that weren't a helicopter. You have to be careful when you're flying around because sometimes you get those random alert things in the corner, but it's normally people on the ground that have spotted you.
I don't know if I got it or not. I dropped a bomb, but it was a very hastily dropped bomb, so... <laughs> I think I've actually nearly... I think my, my uh, aeroplane's nearly broke. That's not bloody good. You just want to line your plane up nicely in this. Also, hold circle to de-accelerate. Damn, what's going on? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no, no. Oh crap, I don't know if the plane's still working or not. Okay, okay, good, good. I'm not sure if we broke the other car or not. Damn! I'm not, I'm not sure if what I'm doing at the moment is pretty pro or if it's just absolutely stupid. It feels like a bit between both, doesn't it? At, 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 at one point, uh, <laughs> on one end of the spectrum, I'm landing the plane and shooting people like a beast, but at the same time, I shouldn't be. <laughs> so. Oh, that dude over there's got a pretty cool uh, story mission for us. Okay, that's that one done. That wasn't done very well, so I think we're going to try and drop a bomb on this next set of guys. I've got a bit of a blocked nose at the moment, so uh, sorry if, I'm, if I sound a bit nasally. Oh shit, I knew it! I bloody knew I was nearly destroyed. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do the whole mission again or not. If we do, if we have to do the whole mission again, it's fine because that didn't go very well. <laughs> you want, you want to always, you, you sort of want to always have the enemy in front of you, preferably driving away from you or driving towards you if you've got a good shot. But when you're coming at them um, from the side, they always just seem to like you. Just seem to sort of fly past them, you know. Yeah, we we got a checkpoint, so it's all good. Well, actually, Kim, there's only one more tanker because we already destroyed one. Oh, dear. Yeah, because I think once we've done this, we might need to start taking down some helicopters, maybe. I definitely prefer using the uh, the helicopters in this game for, like, aerial combat, you know. Especially this uh, helicopter we're going to we're gonna unlock later in the game uh, when we do a another companion mission. There's a helicopter you can get called Tulip, which belongs to some woman. But once you do the mission, you can also use it yourself. And it's very good. Because you've got... The Widowmaker is probably the best... The best land vehicle, I would say. Oh, that was a close one, wasn't it? It's so easy to get... There we go, easy. Ooh. Okay, just remember though, do not press L3 and R3 to accidentally uh, refill your, your ammo because it's not worth it. $1,000 in this game is quite a lot of money, you know. <laughs> I think if you are having trouble making money in this game, the only, the only tip I can really give you is obviously hunting is probably the best way of making money, but if you're not a fan of hunting, do the arcade mode because as far as I know when you do the arcade mode which is like Far Cry's online sort of thing um, you get quite a lot of um, money in that mode and I think you can bring it back to the single player experience if I remember correctly so if you are having trouble making money in this game just um, just do that just go and do some of the arcade mode but yeah I definitely prefer the helicopters in this game for aerial combat Damn, he was coming at me. I was like a Japanese kamikaze pilot, wasn't he? <laughs> I just need to remember uh, to hold circle. Because if you hold circle, it de-accelerates you and you slow down a bit. And it helps you aim a lot, you know. Because it makes the crosshair move a lot slower if you're moving slowly. If you go at them like a bat out of hell, then um, it makes it a lot harder to aim. It's because it's the complete opposite controls to a car, you know. <laughs> I did hit it. I definitely hit it then. Oh, 
I de-accelerated too much then. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Okay, well that works too. <laughs> I'm nearly dead, I'm nearly dead again. I don't like the planes, I definitely don't like the planes. Where is the helicopter? Let me just fly away and I'll come back at a different angle. This is not going very well, is it? I'm not doing very well. Once we've done this, though, we don't have to really get into the heli- Oh, oh, it's an aeroplane. We did destroy the, uh, the helicopter. I definitely don't like fighting the aeroplanes. Oh, shit. <laughs> if you could keep behind him, you're all right. Oh, crap. I'm upside down. I just did a loop-the-loop. -loop. I don't know if I'm getting better at flying or I'm just becoming a complete moron. What's going on? I think I'm, I'm going down. I'm going- <laughs> Oh. Cling to life. What's the point? Even if Boomer brings me back to life, I've not got me plane anymore. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. No, don't bring me back to life, Boomer. Don't. I've not got my... Is it mission fouled? Enter Nick's plane. Are you kidding me? Look. <laughs> oh, it's telling me to go back to the airstrip. Oh, for fuck's sake. I would have rather have got a mission foul. Can I fast travel? Oh, we can fast travel. Okay, well, we're going to have to travel back over here. Sorry I'm doing so poorly. I'm not very good with the planes, like I've said about 20 times now. I just prefer using the helicopters. I think it, I think it was the same in, like, um, in like Grand Theft Auto, San Andres and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if Vi Vice City didn't have any aeroplanes, did it? But I remember always being better in San Andres using a helicopter. Oh, it's following me now, the cheeky little devil. I hope, um, I hope Nick ain't gonna be too angry that I've broke his plane. If you need another plane, come back to our airfield. We got a bunch in the hangar. <laughs> that was a slight dig at me, wasn't it? I hope you don't drop a bomb on me now. Don't start shooting me before I'm in the air. That's cheating, mate. It's because. You have to do such large movements, which means you have to turn to your side, sort of like this, you know. And then I accidentally like, end up doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, damn! I just need to not de-accelerate so much. There we go, that's how you want to be. You want to be like this. How is he upside down and not crashing like I did? Probably because he's a better pilot, B-Wolf. Shut up. <laughs> I am hitting him because I can see I can see the occasional spark, but the thing is, though, this is not the last time we're going to be using an aeroplane. We have to get very good using the plane because it's going to be the main point of when we fight John. There's going to be a large aeroplane section in that, if I remember correctly. Me, there we go. Oh, there we go, look. <laughs> we should have shot his parachute. I don't think he has. <laughs> Oh crap, oh crap, we're going down again. We're going down again. Phew. Okay, now that we've done that, we've actually unlocked this um this plane. Is the final step before fully accepting the word of the Father into your heart. Our sins, having been finally exposed, can now be removed. Freeing our souls and opening our hearts. Now the pain of atonement is measured by the severity of the sin. And thanks to your deputy, the sins of this resistance are indeed severe. You will all atone for what the deputy has done. You will all welcome the word of the Father into your hearts. You will all say yes. 
I've got to be honest with you, John. I don't think I'll say yes. But yeah, we still need to take down John and we also need to save Deputy Hudson. This is probably the longest area in the game. I mean, it might just be the longest area in the game because I assume most people are going to come here first, you know. So obviously this is the point where you don't really know much about the game. You've got the weakest weapons in the game, so things take a lot longer. Once we go back to one of the uh, one of our um, outposts or something, I'm going to buy some new weapons and then things will speed up a little bit. How much more we got to do? Did I get any points for doing that mission? I think I didn't. So I suppose what we will do now, whilst we wait, we'll head over to the Lamb. We'll head over to the Lamb of God Church, and we will do another mission with uh, another one of our new companions that we're going to unlock. So we're going to do this. I think this is the kind of mission where I want to bring Nick actually, because uh, Nick flies around in a plane, and he drops bombs where you tell him to. And this is the kind of mission where you definitely want to have that kind of mobility in the sky, you know. So I think we're going to do that. But yeah. There's a couple of other side missions we can do as well. Uh, a couple of other story missions. And also Nick's going to give me a side mission in a minute. But I think you've got to wait a little while. But I'm not sure if those missions give you progress towards fighting John or not. I think every mission does actually until you defeat him. Also another way of making good money in this game. When you do eventually take over a um, an area by defeating the main leader in that area... Um, Whenever you do a mission or you take over something, you get a bonus to the money that you earn. So if you like, if normally you earn, say, $800 for completing a mission, you will get a bonus of like $400 just because you've taken over the area, you know. So that's another good way of making money. So if you save up a ton of missions and objectives and then you make sure you do them all once you've took over the area, then yeah, you'll, you'll make quite a bit of money pretty quick. Because some things in this game do cost a lot of money. Some weapons are like 72 K dollars, you know, grand, and uh, you've also got the cars and vehicles that can cost quite a bit of money. I'm going to take this down whilst I'm here. Oops. Alright, I'll take this down whilst we're here. Lovely. Yeah, this is a side mission from Kim telling us to go around and destroy all of the silos. Which, uh, we, well, we've done most of them already. There's only five left. I think, that, I think the silos are probably the easiest one to take down in this game. Just because they're such a bright red colour. And pretty much everything in this area is like farmland and forest, you know. So, flying around in Nick's plane is actually a good way of spotting them. Just because... Oh, hang on. Oh, for God's sake. Is he dead or not? Oh, sh oh it blew up. We're not going to be revived now because um, that's one of the worst things about Nick is he don't revive you because he's in a plane. <laughs> I was going to kill that person and drive the truck back, but yeah. For some reason, when you play on hard mode, the enemies have got skulls of steel because I'm pretty sure I shot him in the head. But yeah, we're just going to go to the church. I've got about 10 minutes left of this video, so yeah. We should have time to do it. <clears throat> and then once we get Grace unlocked, it'll be a lot easier to take down places. Just check if he's still with me. Yeah, he's still with me. Uh, we, can get, we can get two uh, companions. Let me check how I do that. I can't remember what I need to do to unlock it. Oh, okay, so I need, once I hire Grace, I should be able to get this. And I've also got enough points as well, so yeah, maybe we will do that. I also need to get, I think I need to get the next upgrade for my health as well, but I'm not sure if I already bought that or not. I know I bought one of them. <clears throat> but yeah, all I really want to unlock in this game is the extra health, um, additional weapon slots, 
um, and then some upgrades for uh, having two of the um, specialists with me at once. Because once you unlock Jess, who is up in Jacob's region in the north, if you bring Grace and Jess with you, you've got a very, very good team of stealth killers, you know. Because uh, Jess doesn't make any noise when she kills people, so they won't even know that you're there. Because bows are the best stealth weapon in this game. Because when you kill people with rifles and stuff, even with a silence silencer on it, they still know where you are. You know, it's actually very annoying. Because if you headshot somebody, everyone starts running around. They might not necessarily know exactly where you were, but they all start running around and stuff, you know. And it's very annoying, because they've, pr they've practically spotted you, really. Ah, oh, this is where Grace is. I ran past it for some reason. Right, so I think Grace is up there. I think. I think she's up there. Yeah, she is. He's just up there ruining the day. <laughs> okay. So we're going to come up here and we're going to talk to Grace. I think, um... I don't think she will talk to me straight away just because she's actually in combat at the moment. So we might have to kill the people in the, uh... in the vicinity of this graveyard. So let's, uh, Let's go around and kill everybody first just so we don't have to come down again. If you're good with a sniper rifle, this is a pretty good mission for a sniper rifle. I mean, she's so flipping good. <laughs> she pretty much one shot, one kills everybody. She's like Far Cry's Widowmaker. I've got such a runny nose at the moment, I do apologise. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I was fine before I started recording. But typically... Now my nose has gone to hell. Oh, medical kit. Oh, there's a sniper rifle here if you need it. Oh, and a map. How you doing, Grace? Name's Grace. Got word someone was out making life miserable for the cult. You got good timing. See those graves down there? A couple war heroes buried here. My pops was one of them. The piggies are trying to defuck. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk to Grace until he is defeated. So if Nick can't destroy him, then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I don't think there is an, uh, one of those turret guns around here. Oh, crap. Well, he killed him, but apparently Nick just died. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Okay, so the piggies are trying to defile him. They're trying to erase our history, demoralize us, get us to break so we'll roll over. <laughs> Not on my fucking watch. Ain't nobody gonna touch my pop's grave while I'm still breathing. I'm a good shot, but I need someone to watch my back. They'll be here any second. Okay, so they're trying to defile graves, and one of them is her, fa her father or grandfather's grave. So we need to uh, defend them. They've got health bars, you know, but we're going to go down to the grand level just because I'm not very good with a sniper rifle. There's plenty of medical kits around here and stuff, so yeah. Let's um, let's uh, get a couple of proximity uh, explosions put around the place. Oh crap! <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't a smart idea at all. Did one of the uh, graves just get ruined? Oh crap, that's not good. What's that lot doing here? I'm not sure if that convoy is supposed to be here. I don't remember that convoy coming here last time. Because if they don't drive away... Okay, looks like they're driving away. Who's shooting me? Who shot me? I'm not sure what's going on there and someone shot me. I need to um, bring Boomer back because I've not got anybody to revive me at the moment. That's another benefit to having two of your companions unlocked. You've got two people available to revive you. At the moment, I'm just I'm just trying to get used to using these guns again because I've been using completely different weapons when I've been playing this on my uh, own. I've been using a new kind of um, ranged weapon 
and I've also been using a um like a uh, a revolver instead of a pistol. God damn it. They got one. We need to step it up. Come on. Oh yeah, look, they did blow one up. I think it was my fault because of my proximity bomb. Uh, that's why you want the proximity bombs there, you know, so if they do get past your uh, firing. Oh crap, quick. Uh... Oh sweet. We didn't, I, don't, I don't know if we killed anybody. Because everybody in this game on hard mode is made like, they're pretty much a T6000. If you play this and you play on hard though, do, uh, do get prepared for some ridiculous shit because... It's the wobble in these guns that really ruins my day. Oh, right in the jugular. How'd you like that, you fucking arsehole? Shit, uh, have I got any other bombs? I could craft a one dynamite. Can get a couple of these. I don't think that was a good throw. What do you think you're doing, mate? Get off. Oh, what's, what's Boomer? Oh, come on, Boomer. Oh, shit. Oh, no, a Boomer's dead, isn't he? <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever performed so badly in a video. I don't think I've ever died this much in a game for ages, you know? Obviously, at the moment, I'm getting really annoyed with my nose keep running, you know, because when you constantly feel your nose running, it's hard to keep both your hands on a dual shot forward. You've got to keep bloody doing this all the damn time, you know, that's not helping. They got one. We need to step it up. Come on. I'm not sure if I've got a checkpoint or not. I've got a couple of proximity mines around. That's it, but that was a headshot. Okay, I killed three people then, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Where's Boomer? I guess Boomer is unavailable, so I'm going to have to be extra careful now. I think somebody might have got on the manted gun. I'm not 100% sure though. I've got a proximity bomb over in the distance. You can sort of see the little icon. So if anyone comes... Ah, oh, no, I think it went off. No, it didn't go off. I'm not sure if somebody's on the... Oh, no, they're not. I'm just... I'm, ver I'm very on edge because I know there's going to be a dude that's going to come in a minute. Who is going to be on... Uh, he's going to have one of those... He's going to be an armoured guy. And he's going to have one of those big machine guns. So that's what's sort of bothering me at the moment. Obviously if I was good with a sniper rifle. I could just stay up there with Grace. But... Oh crap. Oh actually. Lovely. How we doing? Oh, well, I must be dead by now. Oh no, there's one. Oh crap, another car's coming. Yep, there's the flamethrower guy. That's who I was waiting for. I don't know if we just got him then. I threw two dynamites into the wind and I was hoping for the best. God, they're smoking me out. What are they doing? You know I've got asthma, guys. I can't really be dealing with this smoke. Oh, crap. There's some more coming. Is 
Set fire to the forest. That'll help. I think I've got his... Yep, I've got his, uh, his gas tank. Yeah, he's dead. Lovely. I think Grace might have got the killing blow because she's a bit of a kill stealer. It doesn't even seem like they're really going for the... Uh, for the... Uh, what's it called? The grave. They just seem to want to kill me. There he is. I was looking for that son of a bitch. I want to loot all of their bodies. It's so hard to resist the urge. Because now is not the time for us to be looting bodies. Oh shit! Didn't know there was a second one. Oh crap, crap, crap. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Run away, run away, run away. Heal yourself up, B-Wolf. Don't die now. You have to do it all again. I'm not sure if Grace maybe got the, uh... Oh, no. I think they're all dead. There we go. Now they're all dead. Okay, lovely. But well, that took longer than it should have. There are a couple of other dudes around, but I think they're leaving. I think he just stepped on my proximity mine. <laughs> what a silly git. Okay, hopefully we can loot everything when I'm done. Sorry about the, uh, the quality of my, uh, gameplay today. I've been performing very badly. I do apologise. It would have helped if I didn't have to do all of the plain stuff, though, because I'm not very good at that. Where's she gone? There she is. Just broke my legs, never mind. Hey, you got a second? I owe you. Not a lot of people would have stuck their neck out like that. It means a lot to me. My pops always said, as long as we keep believing in each other, there's still hope. If we stick together, look out for one another, cult will never break us. <laughs> I ain't about to get all sappy and shit. But if you ever need help, give me a call. I got your back. Lovely. Okay, so... I think what we're gonna do... Okay, right. Well, I think what we're going to do next time is we're going to maybe go around and destroy a couple of outposts because you do get quite a lot of experience for doing that. I'll have to check if there's any on the map, but I know there's two other story missions we can pick up. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfette. Sorry about the deaths in this video. I didn't mean to die so many times. I think I died like four times, which is ridiculous for me. But yeah, next time we're going to go back to one of the, uh, one of the buildings and maybe one of the outposts and maybe get ourselves a new weapon so I can feel a bit more at home with my guns again. And then after that, we will uh, we'll see what we're going to do. Like, share, and join a pack today. Oh!